Whenever a substituted benzene molecule undergoes an electrophilic substitution reaction, inductive effects in that molecule will play a role to decrease the rate of our reaction and also play a role to decrease the stability of the intermediate carbocation that is formed. Now before we examine how and why that actually takes place, let's recall what inductive effects actually are. So any bond that exists between two different atoms that have two different electronegativity values will form an electric dipole moment that will point from the more positive atom to the more negative atom. And such polar bonds will create inductive effects that will, in that will influence the rate of the electrophilic substitution reaction of of aromatic molecules. So let's suppose we have the following mono substituted benzene molecule. So we have chlorobenzene. Now the bond between chloride and carbon will be a polar covalent bond. That basically means because the chloride is more electronegative than the carbon, the electrons will be pulled closer to the chloride and away from that carbon. So the carbon will become electron deficient gaining a partial positive charge while the chloride will have an excess of electrons and will gain a partial negative charge. So on average the electrons will be more likely to be found around the chloride than our carbon and so the electron density will shift this way and the electric dipole moment will point from the carbon to our chloride atom. Now, this basically, this deficiency of electrons on this carbon makes this entire benzene electron deficient. And because the benzene ring acts as a nucleophile in any electrophilic substitution reaction, the nucleophilicity, the ability of the benzene to act as a nucleophile will decrease because by definition, a nucleophile is something that can donate a pair of electrons and because we have less electrons in this ring as a result of this inductive effect the ability of that benzene to undergo a nucleophilic reaction will actually decrease. Now inductive effects do not only decrease the ability of the benzene to act as a nucleophile but the inductive effects also play a role in decreasing the rate of the reaction and destabilizing the intermediate carbocation that is formed in the first step of this substitution reaction. So to see exactly what we mean and how that actually takes place, let's suppose we take chlorobenzene as shown that has this electric dipole moment that has this inductive effect and we add some type of Lewis acid, our electrophile shown by the E with the positive sign. So basically, this benzene molecule acts as a nucleophile. It uses its pair of electrons in this pi bond to grab this E and form a sigma bond. So let's suppose that our bond is formed between the second carbon and our electrophile. So this is our ortho substitution. So we have one, two substituted intermediate carbocation. Now notice initially the positive charge is on this carbon but of course because we have a conjugated system this pi bond can migrate onto here delocalizing the positive charge onto this carbon. This can move here delocalizing the positive charge onto this carbon and finally one of these lone pair of electrons on the chloride can form a pi bond delocalizing the positive charge onto our chloride atom. So we have have four resonance stabilized forms. Now resonance stabilization is a good effect. It basically decreases the energy of our intermediate and increases its stability. Now how exactly does the inductive effect 
which is different from the resonant stabilization plays a role in destabilizing this intermediate. Well, from physics we know whenever we have like charge, the same type of charge next to one another in, cl in close proximity, that destabilizes that system. And so because of the inductive effect, we always have a partial positive on this carbon and on top of that partial positive in this ring, we also have this full positive charge that is basically delocalized. And because we have a close proximity of two charges, two like charges, two positive charges, that will destabilize this system, increasing its energy. And not only that, this inductive effect will also influence the energy of the transition state of going from this to this intermediate. So the energy of the transition state is increased and that increases the activation energy. And this implies that the inductive effect plays a role to decrease the rate of our electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. So let's take a look at yet another mono-substituted benzene that experiences this inductive effect. And let's look at anisole. Anisole is basically methoxybenzene. It contains this methoxy group. So our oxygen is more electronegative than the carbon, so we form a partial negative charge on the oxygen, partial positive charge on that carbon. And our electric dipole moment points from this carbon to this oxygen. So that means this benzene ring will become electron deficient. It will become slightly worse of a nucleophile. So our reaction rate will basically in, uh, decrease because the transition state will increase in, in energy. So Let's suppose this electrophile adds once again to the ortho position as shown. We have the following four resonance stabilized structures. So we have a positive charge that is delocalized among this carbon, this carbon, this carbon, and this oxygen. Now, as a result of the close proximity of these two charges, the partial positive and our positive charge here, we're going to have a destabilizing effect taking place. Place. And that uh, is explained from physics. Whenever we have two positive charges, they will repel one another and that will increase the energy of the entire system. In this case, this particular molecule. So usually in any aromatic electrophilic substitution reactions, two effects are in play. So we have the delocalization of charge as a result of resonant stabilization and the inductive effect as a result of the polar covalent bond that exists between two atoms, in this case the oxygen and our carbon, in this case the chloride and our carbon. So these two effects will usually oppose one another. And that basically means that resonance stabilization will basically delocalize the charge and increase the stability and decrease the energy of our intermediate and will also increase the or decrease the activation barrier, so increase the rate of our reaction. But at the same time, the inductive effects will oppose that, meaning that the inductive effects will destabilize the intermediate, will increase the energy of the intermediate, and will increase the energy of the transition state, and so decrease the rate of the reaction. On top of that, it will make the benzene electron deficient, and the benzene will be a slightly worse nucleophile than if we did not have this electron withdrawing group, the chloride group and the methoxy group in this case. So what exactly can we conclude about the inductive effects that exist uh, within aromatic substitution reactions? 
So we see that resonance stabilization usually competes with inductive effects of polar bonds. In some cases, as in this case with the anisole, we see that resonance effects will outweigh inductive effects and the overall rate of the reaction will increase as the case for the anisole, the methoxy benzene. So that basically means in some aromatic substitution reactions, resonance stabilization will lower the energy of the intermediate more than the inductive effect will increase the energy. However, in other cases, inductive effects will outweigh resonance stabilization and the rate of the reaction will basically decrease. So so when determining how this group affects the rate of our reaction, we have to take into consideration two effects. We have to look at resonance stabilization and we also have to examine the inductive effects and how the inductive effects usually influence the rate of that reaction and the stability of the carbocation intermediate.